here welcome to my channel the manga runner I have an upload training videos or a lot of running videos lately I'm, I'm still trying to catch up with my Colorado video and I have a few more to go but uh, today I am actually supposed to run the Houston Marathon which is actually tomorrow but I canceled the trip because of COVID and I'm gonna do it virtually so today's Saturday gonna head down to Swan Rapid Trail just to do the virtual run but I'm not in shape of running a road marathon and I'm just gonna really just use it for training for my ultra trail running um, I'm gonna run like a decent pace just aerobic gonna shoot for like 150 to 155 heart rate around that area and just wear the you know all the gels all the water packets on me and then just do what I can. It's gonna be just a long training run. It'll be fun. It'll be down the Swamp Rapid Trail. Not much elevation. And uh, it's cold. It's gonna be, I think, 42 right now, but it would be like 45 by the time I run. I am in no road running shape at all, but just gotta go out there and see what you got. Have fun. And we'll see what I can do. I'm gonna shoot for like 3.30 would be nice. Uh, four minutes would be, I mean, four hours would like pretty slow but if my body can't go fast and I can only do four hours fine but I'm gonna go for see what the range is in the run um, what my pace is for the nutrition working on that you never know how I'm gonna feel so I'm just gonna do what I can I, uh, I bought Las, uh, Las Sportiva shoes yeah they tend to sit higher me and kids about to start He's gonna do a 10 mile run with me, or, or, or a five out and back. <laughs> and we're about to start, it's getting cold, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, I mean, Ken is hitting five miles. He's gonna head back in a little bit, <laughs> start his uh, real workout, and I'm gonna keep on going. Uh, right now, we've got about 7.36 overall pace, is that right? Yeah, quite well, a little less than that. Faster than what I was expecting, so I'm good with that. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna update you in a little bit. Hi, buddy. Hi, man. Hey, man. Good luck. So you <laughs> have a good uh, training session. <laughs> uh, I'll see ya. See ya, man. All right. Just past nine and a half mile for a 7.38 mile pace overall. It's kind of tough going up this hill, but the pace is a lot faster than I expected. Got about four and a half miles before I come back, and I guess I'll see what it's like coming back. I took a hammer gel at mile five. I'm gonna take a hammer gel and electrolyte pills right before mile 10. And then after that, turn back at 13.1, and it's a uh, it's a little tough, but it's all right. This is what it's all about. Just getting out here and do it. Just past half marathon, 141, about 745 pace. Slow down, feeling tired too, but heading back and uh, more downhill, flattened downhill going back. So hopefully I can pick it up a little bit, but I like feeling tired. I haven't run like this in a while so we'll see gonna get my nutrition in at mile 14 and some electrolytes and take it from there mile at a time just past 19 miles two hours and 30 minutes 30 seconds pace is about 7 55 56 slowing down feeling very fatigued but i'm gonna try to see if i can keep it under eight minute overall Looks tough, but I'll see what I can do. All right, 21 miles and a half, two hours and 52 minutes, and right at the eight minute pace, slowing down, it's getting hard and tough. Less than five miles to go. I'm gonna see if I can kick it in a little bit, but it's, it's hurting. I'm gonna take my last jail here a little bit. For half a mile with electrolytes and then go from there cross my fingers 
It is what it is. I got done in three hours, 31 minutes and 21 seconds with overall average of eight minutes and four seconds. I didn't meet my goal. Sometimes you achieve your goals and sometimes you don't. I took a total of six gels, one before the run and five during and some Endura lights in this run that propels me to the finish. All right, it's the day after my virtual marathon and it snowed here. It doesn't snow here a lot like this, but uh, yeah, it pulled down a lot last night and it's still coming down this morning. It's just really nice just to get out. The, all the way in the bottom is all ice though. Um, the snow, it's pretty deep. I mean, we normally get only like half an inch or an inch, maximum two recently in the few years and today, I think it was up to like some places five and other places like six inches so that's actually a lot you can go out and you have a hill you can do some sled and make some snowmans but yeah I'm trying to get out here today just a run and jog um, just enjoy being outside but uh, yeah update on yesterday's race or virtual run ultra trail training what I was doing it didn't go so well as in my leg was really fatiguing because I haven't really done training for marathon or road marathon since like two years ago but I was expecting that I wasn't gonna do so well but I was thinking like trying to hover under eight hours well not eight hours eight minutes if I can and started off was really good with Ken there we did like a 730 pace but after five or six miles my leg was getting tired and fatigued and I had all my gels and stuff I took electrolytes and still it was uh, hurting there especially after the half marathon distance I was just trying to keep it up and push it push it in really and I did push it in but uh, my overall pace was like 803, 804 so uh, not fast but I am happy I did do it get it done with the uh, virtual race and shout out to uh, Kiera that she won the uh, Houston Marathon and broke the American record with Sarah Hall so that was awesome yeah uh, I was gonna go there and at least gonna see her because I was in the first wave but uh, I don't know if it's the first wave or not but it's a wave that's like around the three hour mark because I used my 259 marathon to a place where I guess where they line up at and I would have probably seen her be behind the elites or something. Now I don't remember we have a snowstorm like this in the last I would say 20 years. I got my metal spikes on so I wasn't afraid to slip and fall. It was my first time using it and they work very well. I'm not sure you really need that here because it doesn't happen often but it's good to have. I was very selective on where to run as the snow was about five to seven inches in certain areas. It's not like the north. We don't get this much snow and ice often so we don't have the equipment to clear the snow and most folks here don't know how to drive in the ice and snow. The town here is shut down when we get snow. I kind of enjoy it when it happens. All right, well, I hope your running and training is going well. Stay healthy and fit, and I'll see you in the next video.